How do you stay safe? How do you stay saved? How do you protect yourself? We see a lot of things that we're hearing about and we don't know what to believe and what to not believe. What do I do? Like, how do I protect myself? Give me some fundamentals here. And this is where the Prophet said three things. And listen very carefully. Hold your tongue. Learn to hold your tongue. Like grab it and hold it, not in the physical sense, but restrain this tongue of yours. Hold yourself. Because it could be one word you say, one thing that you utter that totally ruins the life of someone else and ruins your own afterlife. And then the Prophet said, You know, this literally means let your home encompass you, let your home suffice you. Like, don't, everyone wants to get out all the time. Actually, like, learn to stay home a bit, learn to be by yourself, learn to enjoy seclusion, learn to be introspective and reflective and in a state of contemplation, in a state of remembrance. Because if you're talking about everybody else and you're busying yourself with everybody else's stuff, that is disaster waiting to happen. The last one the Prophet said, وَبْكِ عَلَى خَطِيئَتِكَ And cry over your sins. What this means is that many people focus on either the future uncertainty of the world or the current gossip about other people's flaws and you have plenty of current and past baggage that you need to cry about and you need to un get out of yourself. I've got things that I don't want to meet Allah with. I don't know when I'm going to meet Him, but I know I will meet Him. Let me work on those things and do that dirty laundry rather than trying to indulge in the dirty laundry of everybody else.